India getting ready for a big mission, India's maiden mission to Mars. I have with me Dr. T.K. Alex, the man who literally was responsible for the making of Chandrayaan-1, India's maiden mission to Moon, which found the first signatures of water there. What a great discovery it was. Dr. Alex, why should Indians be excited by this Mars mission? What are we likely to gain? So we had the successful mission of Chandrayaan-1 in which uh, the large number of uh, instruments were flown and we made the, the biggest discovery of this injury, the discovery of water on the moon. And uh, the next step, what is the next step we have been thinking? The logical next step is to go beyond moon. So we decided to have a look beyond moon, the nearest planets. So the nearest planet is Mars. A mission to Mars was conceived. So that's how the, the Mangalayan a mission to Mars are being conceived and now we are in progress for the mission. You got very little time to fabricate the satellite, little over a year. Is this the fastest time frame in which a satellite is being made by the a complicated satellite, a complicated mission by ISRO? Normally this is one of the fastest anybody would have even attempted to make a interplanetary missions. However, we had a time constraint. 2013, we have to take off. Unless we take off now, we have to reach Mars in 2014, which will be an ideal time in which the Mars will be closest to Earth. So there's a time, very critical time. So the decision was taken that we should use this opportunity. If you miss this opportunity, we had to wait for 2018. So interplanetary mission, there's no point in waiting so long. So we decided that we will do at any cost. So, so what lessons did you learn from Chandrayaan-1? Some components failed there, the mission life was halved. Have we replaced those or, or are we likely to see that a six-month mission becomes a three-month mission? Not exactly. The Chandrayaan-1, although it uh, lived only for 10 months, it completed all its uh, mission objectives of all the instruments, the data collection, and also the discoveries and the publication, just all happened as, as required. Except that we could not uh, complete the mapping 100%, we could complete 95%. However, the 10 month we had a failure of a particular device, electronic device, that failed due to the poor quality of the device. That has been replaced in this mission. We have replaced not only this mission, all these row missions, we are not using that design. And we have changed the design and uh, that particular problem will never repeat. So are you happy? Many people say this is a technology mission, not a science mission. Is the balance right? Basically, it's a, it's a mix of uh, technology as well as science. So by itself, doing a technology alone will not be satisfying. So we try to marry both. So we, as soon as the mission was designed, we called the proposals from scientists what we can do with a, a mission of this type. They come with wonderful ideas, what, of, what science we can do. They, they came with a, a host of instruments. Out of that, we selected the best instruments which can meet the mission and the time, during the time frame, we had to do observations. That has been successfully done. So is it, is it 450 crores is a lot of money. Yes. Is it money being well spent? Oh, yes. Should India be happy about oh, it? Oh yes. This is, if you really look in the international scenario, this could be the cheapest interplanetary mission anybody attempted. So some, if you account the NASA missions or ESA missions, these are at least five times of the same complexity. So that way the money is worth. If you really look at the outcome, the scientific outcome, we expect a lot from the instruments. The technological outcome of challenge of uh, going to 400 million kilometers compared to just uh, 3 lakhs or 3.5 lakhs kilometer to moon. This is 400 million kilometers. So reaching that precisely is a challenge. Are we looking for signatures of life on Mars? Because that is a big... Big philosophical question that needs to be answered. It is, a, it is a major question for all the space scientists, whether the life exists anywhere else other than our Earth. The Earth is very comfortable for life. The temperature, the, the air here, the oxygen here, everything is comfortable. Scientists have been looking at other places. There are indications, there are planets which are Earth-like planets. Their discoveries are taking place. 
and the, right now we are looking at the Mars. No, but will our mission have some some component where we can look yes, for signatures? Yes, yes, yes. We'll be looking at uh, specifically the scientists will be looking at whether there was Earth, uh, the, whether the Mars had life some time back. So this is what we are looking for. Any signatures of that, and it's not very easy because on the surface we don't see sure. any life sure. signature. But there are on a global level there are possibilities of looking at it, and this is a, a global problem. Uh, which uh, all the scientists working in space science are looking for, uh, life exists elsewhere. So that was Dr. Alex telling us that the Indian mission will look for signatures of life, not really life because it's a remote sensing mission. Closest it will be 500 kilometers from Mars. It will probably be the cheapest mission to Mars ever undertaken by any country. In Bangalore, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.